Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla, also known as Thrifty Mom of Two here on this YouTube channel. And I'm a full-time reseller. I love to share all things about reselling here on this channel. And today I just have a quick thrift haul to share with you guys. So before I get into all of the clothing and stuff behind me on the rack here, I do wanna show you some of the shoes I picked up this past week. I have this little clip that I'm gonna roll. Um, this is just me unloading them from the car. Uh, this was all one thrift stop, so just one thrift store that I picked up these shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that real quick and then we'll get into the clothing rack behind me. All right guys, so I wanted to show you a few shoes that I thrifted today. I didn't get any footage in this thrift store just cause it's kind of hard to film in there, but I got these really nice Hoka's. They're the Rincon 3's, which I think is a newer model. And they're a pretty good size. They are a 11 and a half men's, I believe. Toss them in there. I got these Hoka's. They are the Matches, Mach, not sure how to say that. Gotta clean them a little bit, but overall, really good condition. Size 10. I got these Hoka's, again. Just need a little wipe down, but the tread looks really good. Um, these ones are the Bondi 7s. And next up, I got these Brooks. These are the Levitates. Um, I'm gonna soak these in some OxyClean and they should be nice and white again. They actually look really good. Um, the insoles look great. I think this is a newer model too, but look how good the tread looks. So we just gotta get this upper knit clean, which I just spray it with some stain remover, do a little OxyClean bath, take the insoles out when you do that, soak them, let them dry outside and they will look wonderful. Um, I'll pop in a little picture of what they look like after they're clean. I also picked up these Adidas. This is the model there. I think this is a newer model too. I've sold these, um, the similar ones like the Bostons in men's sizes before. But again, insoles look really good. I'll do a nice little clean on those. We have the New Balance 840s, I believe. Yeah, 840 walking shoes. I think these are a wide width, women's size seven, really good tread. And even though these ones are just like a walking shoe, these are great for work. I do think this model is still pretty expensive online if you buy them brand new. I wanna say they're around $130 still listed. So that's really good. And the fact that they're wide width. And then I have this pair of Brooks down here. Don't mind all my trash in that trash can if you just saw it. Um, these are the Adrenaline GTS 22s, I think see in here yeah 22s insoles look good again i just need to clean stain treat the uppers tread is still really nice so yeah good little shoe haul from this stop all right guys so i hope you enjoyed that quick clip of some of the shoes that i picked up i do have one more pair here that i want to share with you guys i also thrifted this pair this week I do need to clean them. I haven't cleaned them yet, but I wanted to share them with you because I did share this exact pair in one of my past thrift hauls. Um, not this exact pair with this exact model. I also thrifted these a couple weeks ago in a different size. I brought them home. They were my husband's size and he ended up keeping them, so I wasn't reselling them. But I did find another pair and it's kind of funny because they're ex the exact same colorway and everything. These are the On Cloud Cloud Monsters. You can see they are a little bit dirty. They have some dirt stains. So I am going to spray these with a stain remover and then put them in the sink, give them a nice little OxyClean bath and they should look a whole lot better. I will insert some footage of that or maybe just a photo and show you guys what they look like after I clean them. You guys can see the tread is still in really good condition. The only downfall is they are missing insoles. I do have some replacement insoles that I'll probably just toss in there. These ones are a men's size 11, so I am going to go ahead and list these once I get them all cleaned up. All right guys, so we are gonna stain treat these OnCloud Monster sneakers. You can see they were really dirty before. 
What I already did, and I didn't get it on camera, is I went ahead and sprayed them with this OxyClean laundry stain remover. So that's what you see all over them. Um, there's also no insoles. These ones didn't have insoles when I thrifted them, but if they do, I usually pull the insoles out of the shoe. I'm also going to spray them with this Dawn Platinum Power Wash Spray, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. And I just spray them all over. And then I'm going to take my drill brush here with the really soft brush and brush all over the shoe. I'll show you guys that real quick. Um, this one I already did that to you so you can see some of the stains are already coming out of this shoe. So it already looks a little bit better, but yeah, let me show you guys this. All right guys, so I have a couple pairs. I'm gonna soak in some OxyClean now um, that just have some stains on them. So what the little brush did is it just really worked the stain remover and the Dawn into the fabric. I let these sit for about 20 to 30 minutes just to let the stain remover kind of soak in and do its job. And then I will go ahead and fill up the sink and I will soak them in some OxyClean, which will really just brighten up the white and hopefully remove most, if not all of the stains. All right guys, so once I pull them out of the sink and I dry them with a little towel, I then take them outside so they can dry faster in the sun. Here's those brooks that I also soaked. You can see they look really white, nice and clean, no stains at all. So those came out great. And then I'll show you guys a little clip of the on clouds once they dry. All right, so here's the final product. You can see I put the replacement insoles in there. The toe box looks so much better. There is still some very, very light staining, but nothing compared to what they look like before. They definitely, in my opinion, look a hundred times better. All right guys, so let's go ahead and jump into some of the clothing that you guys see behind me here. These were also all thrifted. I think I have most of this stuff listed. There are a few things that I still need to photograph, um, but most of it should already be listed in my Poshmark closet. So the first thing here, if I can find the logo, I know there's a logo on them somewhere. There it is. <laughs> is some Lululemon jogger pants. I'm super excited to find these. Super soft and cozy. The only thing is, is there is no size tag. The size tag has been removed and I cannot find a size dot anywhere. I've checked all of the pockets. So I will have to measure them and put that in the description. When I was thrifting, the first thing I noticed when I was flipping through the athletic wear was the little Lululemon logo on the little tip of the drawstring here. Um, so that's one thing to always look at. Just check the hardware. If the fabric feels nice, look you know, around on the piece for the Lululemon logo. I did grab this. I just thought it was so adorable. This is a Disney store tote bag with the Chippendale on it. It does have a zipper. And you guys, I honestly, this doesn't have tags, but I honestly think it was never used. It just feels brand new still. There's no markings. It was, you know, still has that folded crease to it, but it does have Disney store tags. I don't know if you guys will be able to see here. And it is a pretty large size tote. Um, a lot of times Disney stuff does really well for me, especially if it has, you know, something unique about it. And I think because of this big, bold print on the front and the cute little tail, their little chipmunk tails on the back, these are actually like little soft, you know, fuzzy pieces on there. Um, I think this will do really well. All right, guys. And then another bag I was super excited to find. I actually shared this over on my Instagram. I did get a couple DMs about this bag, people wanting to purchase it, but I do think I'm going to keep this. I have been on the hunt for one of these bags for a while now for myself. 
Um, not necessarily in this pink color. I do really like like the more earthy tone colors, like the mustard um, one is kind of the one I really wanted, but I think I'm gonna hang on to this one for now. I do need to wash it. It is a little bit dirty. There's a couple, you know, little dirt marks on it and stuff, but definitely a brand to look out for. I have no idea how to pronounce it. So I'm just gonna put it on the screen. Um, it has the little logo here. And then, let's see, all of the logos and tags on the inside there. So yeah, unfortunately I won't be selling this one. I'm gonna hang on to it for a little bit. Um, if I do find another backpack that I like more, or maybe after I've used this one a couple times, I may sell it, but for now it's gonna stay in my closet. So next up on the list, I have this pair of jeans here. So this is a pair of Levi's Wedgie. They are a little bit of a smaller size, a size 24. Um, but this actual, this particular wedgie style with the distressing on the leg here was sold at Free People, which is why I picked these up. I found some stock images that were super cute and I just think it's a really cute style. So I still grabbed these. They do have the little hidden button fly too, which I think is nice. All right guys, so next up I picked up this sweatshirt. I actually did grab this for myself because I do like oversized cozy sweatshirts, but I really do have too many. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and list this one. Also because it is new with tags, I think I'm gonna go ahead and list it. If it doesn't sell after a couple months, I might pull it and go ahead and keep it. But I, like I said, I really don't need any more sweatshirts. I did like this really light, like blush pink color. Um, this can definitely be like a sweatshirt that you can use like at the beach or during the summertime in the cooler evenings. It does say season of the sun on the back, billabong. So I thought that was really cute. Um, it is a women's size medium. And the original retail on this was $55.95. So we will see how that does. I did grab this jacket. It is super lightweight, also really good for this time of year. Um, this is more of like a rain, ja rain jacket because you guys can see it's a little bit like see-through. It does have the big logo on the back. So the brand is Oakley here. Anytime an item has like a big logo spell, spell out on it, if it's a really good brand, it's definitely a piece worth looking into. I know people really like to show off the brands they're wearing. So anything with big spell outs, big logos usually stand out. There's the Oakley symbol on the sleeve. So yeah, just a really nice lightweight green jacket. And this one I do think is a men's piece. Okay, yeah, so this one does say men's on the tag. So it is a men's piece. And this one is a US size extra large. So also a really good size. Next up, we have another jacket. This is by an athletic brand that I love selling. I've shared it a bunch of times on this channel. I don't pick up every piece, but I definitely, um, you know, a lot of the jackets and jogger pants and stuff like that I will grab. This is the brand Athleta. Also really good size on this, it's a size extra large and it's kind of that cropped like, scuba material. I know like the cropped scuba jackets right now um, by Lululemon are really popular. So I was hoping you know, that somebody would really want this as well, it has the big chunky hood on it. And I just love this color. It's that really pretty like deep navy color. All right guys, so this next find I was super, super excited about. Um, this is definitely not a brand that I find every day. So when I saw this, I grabbed it immediately and this is Hugo Boss. It is one of those oversized kind of thick puffer jackets. So maybe not quite in season right now, but I definitely could not leave this behind. Um, this doesn't have a tag on it, but I do remember that it was priced at only $6 at this thrift store. So definitely a steal of a deal on this piece. The zipper does work. I checked it. I do need to lint roll the inside a little bit, but yeah, really nice, super thick puffer jacket. I do believe this is a men's piece and I think, oh, it is reversible, you guys. So it does have pockets on the inside as well. So it is a reversible jacket, which probably means the tag is in one of the pockets here. 
Anytime a piece is reversible, definitely check the pockets because you might find the tags there. And this one is a US size 44 regular. So I'll have to pull up the size chart and see what that converts to, but yeah, super excited about this piece. I believe these vests, when I was Google searching, retail in the two to $300 plus range. So that was really exciting. Um, I am gonna price this one high just to see how it does. It may sit for a little bit just because I am gonna price it high and it's also not in season, but I'm okay with that. Um, I would rather, you know, wait until we get into the colder months to see if I can get, you know, top dollar for that piece. So this next piece I wanted to show you guys, I actually did pick this up for myself as well, or I was going to pick it up for myself. I was just flipping through the t-shirt rack, looking for some cute, comfy t-shirts that I could wear at home. Since I work from home, I just like to be, you know, kind of cozy. And I grabbed this one because I thought it was really cute. It says tequila, little time together on it. Really cute graphic. I do think it's new without tags because it does have this um, little string on it as well. But I went ahead and looked this up just because I was curious. It's not really a brand that I was too familiar with, but it kind of sounded familiar to me. So I did look it up. It is called The Laundry Room. And this shirt was sold on Revolve, I believe. And I did see some pretty decent comps. I'm gonna pop some up on the screen for just this t-shirt. So because I saw those comps, I think I might go ahead and list it. Um, I was just gonna wear it, you know, around the house as like a comfy lounge shirt, but I also can find those pretty, pretty easily at the thrift store. So if this one is gonna bring in a, a decent profit, I think I'll go ahead and list it. It is a size small. Definitely an oversized fit, size small, but yeah, super cute. So this next piece, my husband actually picked up at a thrift store that he stopped at on the way home from work one day. He saw this tag and saw that it was a collaboration piece. So he FaceTimed me and asked me if I would be interested in it. And I told him, yes, definitely. Anytime you guys see a name brand or a brand that you're familiar with paired with a another brand, a collaboration of some sort, those pieces are always definitely worth at least looking up in my opinion. I do sell a ton of collaboration pieces. They usually do really well for me. And I believe the reason for that is because a lot of times collaboration pieces are limited releases or limited edition and once they sell out in store you can no longer get them anywhere so people will turn to places like Poshmark and eBay and shop from you know resellers to get those type of pieces so definitely definitely worth checking it out I wasn't actually familiar with Adidas Palace but when I looked that up I was pleasantly surprised so I do believe that is a tennis brand I know this is a tennis jacket it is that like terry cloth really like soft towel material. And you guys, I found this exact jacket in the British Vogue, I believe. I believe it was the British Vogue magazine. I'll pop some pictures up on the screen. And yeah, this jacket has some really, really impressive comps online. Um, I'll also pop up a few of those, as well as some people who have this jacket listed pretty high. So. I did see there was a couple little faint stains on this one that I have not tried to stain treat yet. I don't know if you can see one. I think it's right in this area here and there might be one more on it. Yeah, I can kind of see it picking up in camera. So you guys can see a couple stains on this jacket. So I do need to try to stain treat it. Um, but even with those faint stains, I am gonna price this a little bit high wait for it to sell just because it is one of those more rare, unique pieces and just kind of see how it does. It is a smaller size too, so that might hurt the resale value a little bit. Um, it's a US size extra small, and I do think this is a men's jacket, so that is you know a little bit smaller, but a woman could definitely wear this as well. Okay, so next up we have another bag here. This is a Michael Kors tote bag. Again, I usually don't pick up a ton of, ton of Michael Kors. I know I've shared it in my last couple videos. I have found a couple Michael Kors purses, but I do think these styles are really nice and definitely, you know, more desirable styles. Usually, you know, black tote bags like this usually do pretty well. And yeah, this one's in pretty decent condition. Let me show you guys the bottom here. 
couple of scratches and stuff on the hardware, but overall, you know, pretty good condition. The inside looks really clean. Can I show you guys there? Okay, and then this next brand, I have sold once before and it did pretty well for me. So I went ahead and grabbed these just because they are a little bit unique. The brand is Carmar. They're a size 25 and they're just cute little distressed shorts with a chain detail on them. The multicolor, you know, patches with the fringe. Like you have kind of more of your medium dark wash and your light wash on here. Okay, so next up we have an anthropology piece. I do think this is a newer anthropology style. It does say by anthropology on the tag. And it is a size small, but it's this really cute little tie-dye sweatshirt. It kind of has the little puffy sleeve thing going on in the tie here. And I do love these earthy tone colors with the green and brown. So I went ahead and grabbed that just because I thought the style was really cute. Okay, next up we have this Elizabeth and James denim jacket. It's a size large, which is a great size. And it's just your classic like light wash denim jacket, which I think is super cute. And just a great basic to have in your wardrobe. Okay guys, and then the last item in today's haul, I was so excited when I found these at the thrift store. They are on cloud which is the same as those shoes that I showed you guys earlier, the On Cloud Monsters. But these are On Cloud running tights. They do have like the reflective detail at the bottom here, the big logo on the leg. And a bonus, you guys, is they are new with tags. So I don't know who donates new with tag On Cloud leggings, but I am super excited that they did. These are the weatherproof model size extra small women's. And you guys, these retail for over $100 on the OnCloud website. So I did price these a little high, but yeah, they're new with tags and I think they'll do really well on cloud stuff in general. I've never sold the clothing, but on cloud shoes usually sell pretty fast for me. So super excited to find these. All right guys, so that was it for today's haul video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did before you leave here, if you wouldn't mind, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you do enjoy reseller related content. And like I said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.